Well, like many senior exploration geologists, Doug, you've seen numerous ore deposits globally. When were your first experiences? After I uh, came back from Indonesia, I spent another year and a half in Papua New Guinea, and um, I was always looking forward to eventually getting my copy of Economic Geology. And um, during those years and subsequent years later, there was generally a thematic issue, and it dealt with either a, a genetic topic or um, a geographic topic. And uh, I received a copy that was um, about all the ore deposits in the Philippines. And so um, because of my work cycles, I was able to accumulate significant time off because quite often I, I stayed on the project for probably longer than I should have. And I combined that with my annual leave. So I decided that um, it would be very beneficial for me to travel to the Philippines and try and see some of these deposits. And the chief geologist at Anglo at that time was a gentleman named John Koenig, who, who was um, a real professional. He, he took an interest in the exploration team and he found out that I was planning to go to the Philippines. And so he put me in touch with one of his contacts there, a fellow by the name of Tom Bain, who ran the largest drilling company at the time, Diamond Drilling Corporation of the Philippines. And so that was, that was a good start. Um, I had the Philippines side of things pretty much set up. And then I decided to also try and visit Taiwan. So I contacted Mr. Chen from Taiwan Metal and Mining, and he was um, thrilled to, uh, to host me on a visit to uh, Chinkwashi in Taiwan. So um, I set off and arrived in uh, Manila. Tom actually came out to the airport. He met me. Um, he had a quite a nice apartment in the downtown area, but most importantly, because of his um, involvement in the drilling industry, he knew all of the, the geologists on the different deposits. And so it really it was only a matter of a few phone calls and Tom had arranged a wonderful itinerary for um, mine visits to all of the operating copper and gold mines in the Philippines. Uh, I was extremely fortunate because everywhere I went, I was treated very well. Um, Atlas, Acupan, all the porphyries, um, Lepanto, etc. And so that was a wonderful three weeks learning experience. Um, another highlight of that trip was the opportunity with Tom to uh, watch the thriller in the Manila, which was the classic fight between uh, Ali and Frazier. <laughs> so anyway, uh, my last visit was to Lepanto, and at that time the Enigite mine was still in production. Um, it's one of the hottest mines I'd ever been in my life, but uh, the geology was absolutely fascinating. And from there I proceeded on to uh, Taiwan. I was met by Taiwan Metal and Mining, who then took me down to the Chinkwashi mine, um, also operating at the time. And I spent five days in this wonderful Japanese-style guest house um, hosted by Taiwan Metal and Mining with a, an underground trip every day with their chief geologist, and that too was a, an amazing experience. I also met Li Ping Tan, and he was the professor of geology at National Taiwan University, and he conned me into giving a lecture on porphyry copper deposits, which, when I look back on it, was woefully inadequate, but for them it was better than nothing. But um, on a Sunday, Li Ping took me down to the uh, Jade Market in Taipei, which was the size of your average uh, football oval, and there, was, there were pieces of jade thousands of them that you could buy for ten dollars or ten million and this um, I found incredibly interesting and it was the beginning of a lifetime interest that I've had in jade. <laughs>